G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is the Artist Showcase video series where I check out the artwork you guys send me in a PM on Newgrounds.com. I showcase it every week on my jazzastudios.tumblr.com Tumblr page. And then once a week, I showcase 10 of the artworks in this video series and pick one of them to be the feature of the week, which goes on the front page of Newgrounds. So jumping straight into it, we have artist Zkeo, I can't pronounce some of these words. And it's called Paris Down. It has a lovely golden hue and I believe it was done uh, traditionally and then colored and I might be wrong in fact I probably am but the point is the overall composition is very very aesthetically pleasing it's got this nice sort of pastel look uh, as it I mean that's the reason why I can't tell if it's traditional or digital because it's got this really nice texture to the brush strokes and the line work in particular really great job thank you for sharing that with us our next piece is by Samaya1234 and it's called yellow and it's a skull and it, well, I mean, that's kind of one of the main reasons I like featuring skulls is because I like skulls. I get very excited about skulls, but it is very well painted. It's aesthetically pleasing. I really like how contrasting the lighting is. So when someone's not afraid to show really light, light areas and really dark, dark areas, but mix them in a way so that they complement each other and it shows a really clear shape and form and it's really well done. So thank you for sharing that with us. The next piece of art is by DinoFred96 and it's called Scarlett Johansson and it is Scarlett Johansson and it's got a lovely pop art feel. Uh, this person says that they were inspired by Andy, Andy Warhol's Marilyn Monroe uh, and loves the pop art and, uh, and said that for the reference that it was in black and white but added a color which was a bit difficult. So I think they've done quite a successful job. Uh, a little lacking in some shade in some areas but overall a very successful portrayal of the pop art style. Thank you for sharing that with us. The next piece is by artist Kuro Ukami Yokai and it's called Scarlett Johansson Digital Art and apparently it's Scarlett Johansson week on Draw with Jazza and I mean who's gonna complain because we all wish every week was Scarlett Johansson week. Am I right? Anyone? high five myself. <clears throat> it has a very different art style to the one that we showed before, quite detailed. So if you zoom in, you can see uh, the much more, I suppose, uh, detailed brush strokes, but it has a very messy sort of feel to it, which adds to the aesthetic. It almost looks extremely windy in how it's painted and really great attention to detail in areas like the eyes and great use of variants of the tones of colors throughout the image with an overall lovely golden hue. So great work. Thank you for sharing that with us. Next piece by artist Rock Rick One is called God of War and it is Kratos God of War and his kind of hunched over in a very heroic pose, really strong line work, strong character pose and great attention to detail in the art. I believe that this is a traditional artwork in which case the optimization from traditional to digital is very well done. So you should be happy about that. Um, and overall, it's got a great tone, really strong expression and strong colors. And thank you for sharing that with us. So good job. Our next piece is by artist Ryan Williams and it's called Shadow. It's a very scratchy traditional art piece. I believe it's done on paper, then optimized uh, on a computer. I might be wrong, but uh, whenever I'm not sure whether it's traditional or um, or digital, that's a very good thing because it essentially means I can't tell. And, uh, and that means it's either a really well optimized traditional piece or an extremely stylized and well pulled off uh, digital piece. And uh, the overall tone of this picture, picture is very strong. It's got a clear source of lighting, a single source of lighting above the figure's head and it shows very strong shadow and they're really not afraid to, to be gritty with their lines and with their, shadow, with their shading. And overall, it looks very strong. It's a very simplistic piece, but it's still thematically extremely strong and holds its own. So great work. Next piece by Psycho Jester 53 is called Deliria, and it is a Psycho Jester, it seems. So they, I don't know if this is a running theme with this artist's artwork, but it's very highly detailed and highly stylized. I really like the intricate amount of detail in the line work throughout the character's piece, especially around the mouth. There's lots of really tiny uh, kind of gradations of light and dark to uh, bring out this stylized uh, feeling. But the style throughout the image changes. So the figure itself of this uh, demon sort of jester character 
has a very specific sort of uh, artwork style, whereas the background and uh, the surrounding areas of the canvas hold a different artwork and they clash and yet merge in a very supportive and cohesive way. So really good job, great creativity and style. So thank you for sharing that with us. Next piece by artist Sam Draws Games is called The Evil One and it is first uh, Photoshop painting and I think that they've done a very great job. It's really creepy and it's just got a really strong aesthetic to it. It's got a mood where as soon as you see it you're captivated by a feeling or, or, or the mood that is trying to be set. I really like how the tones and colours mix from the really dark near blacks in the shadows to the light, uh, very light desaturated pinks. Uh, mixing with the purples and, and pinks in the mid-tones and it ends up looking quite ethereal and yet at the same time very menacing. So really good job and it, it's very strong, holds its own. So thank you for sharing that with us. Next piece by artist I'm Costa Long is called Back in the Saddle Update and it's an, a piece of artwork, digital artwork, which has been painted, which is quite simplistic and yet at the same time uh, very strong in its technique. So the hair has a bit of detail, quite, uh, you know, definitive brush strokes, and yet the skin has a lovely softness to it. Um, and the overall piece have a, has a bit of a look of a designer piece because we have the text, we've got a slightly asymmetrical sort of framing as, as well as the face itself being quite asymmetrical and only showing half of the face and it's got a very nice tone in terms of the sapia tone and the colours. Uh, overall a very aesthetically pleasing piece, thank you for sharing that with us. And our final piece and feature of the week is by artist Fox Shift and it's called Angry Video Game Nerd. It's got a colouring style and a line work style that is reminiscent of many really really high-end comics, uh, which I think is very impressive. The line work itself has great line work weight variation, and the colouring uh, is a mix of sort of um, gradiented and yet so sort of painted. It's hard to describe, but it's the kind of painting style and the colouring itself that's, that's um, in many of the comic book covers I've seen for Ultimate Spider-Man and things like that. So I really like the mix of these um, techniques and this artist has done a fantastic job and has some great work. So make sure to check out their art. And uh, if you want to see the other entries to the Artist Showcase, make sure to go to the Tumblr page jazzastudios.tumblr.com and make sure to check out all the entries for that week. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, that has been the Artist Showcase. I hope you've enjoyed it and until next time, I'll see you later. Do you want a chance for your artwork to be featured in the next Showcase video? Upload your artwork to the art portal on newgrounds.com. Send me a link to your artwork by going to jazza.newgrounds.com and click send a private message. Make sure to include the word showcase in capital letters in the message title and give me a link to your piece of art. Please be considerate of my time by submitting no more than one image per week to the artist showcase and make sure it's on newgrounds.com. Thanks for checking out this week's showcase. I look forward to seeing your art in the future.